guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, we'll be working on a Chevy Cruze, guys. And if you experience any of the two guys symptoms, uh, too much pressure in your cooling system, your uh, cooling system radiator hose will be really hard, guys. Or having bubbles in your overflow bottle, stay with us, we'll explain what, uh, what is the most common reason that causes that, guys. And you just hope that this is not the case. Now, quick introduction, guys. We will have more than 200 videos on this car, guys, and every car we get at the shop. Our mission is to save you as much money as we can. So please, guys, subscribe to the channel and like the video. Hopefully, you will find the information helpful, guys. If you need any parts, tools, or anything like that, we'll have the link in the description of the video below that will explain where we get uh, all our parts from for a good price and fast shipping. So we have a 1.8 Chevy Cruze, but even if you have a 1.4, 1.6, the symptoms are the same. If you guys notice that your radiator hose and you have to be extremely careful because the fan is there and it can cut your hand and fingers off guys but if your radiator hoses are super hard guys okay i mean super hard uh, this uh, hypothetical situation what to expect now guys when you have your hoses super hard it means that you have air in the system somehow and you may notice when the car is running you will notice bubbles coming from the uh, coolant overflow hose right here in the coolant tank guys okay right here you will see when the car is running bubbles and what those bubbles mean now first if you recently let's say drain your cooling system flush the radiator it means that you probably didn't bleed the cooling system correctly but after a while if you didn't overheat the car seriously it should go away and if you bleed your cooling system the correct way and we have a video on the channel that explains how to bleed the cooling system now as you can see on the cap right here guys uh, okay, you can see it says 20 psi or 140 kPa pressure, guys. So that is a regulated cap. It should, guys, open at, at 20 psi. Now, never open your cooling system, okay, your cap when it's hot, guys. Only next morning after driving the car, guys, not driving the car for at least, I would say, 12 hours to make sure that it's cool. Why? Because that thing can burn you guys so bad that people will not be able to recognize you so that cap has a valve that valve guys is supposed to open at 20 psi if it doesn't open at 20 psi guys and you have too much pressure in the hoses okay uh, probably it's a bad cap so replace the cap but let's say you put a new cap and uh, you still build some pressure in the hoses you know these bubbles coming from that uh, hose what that means guys okay you just guys uh, uh, you just hope that this is not the case with your car but most likely guys you have a bad head gasket why because the head gasket guys is blown and some blow by gas makes its way into the cooling system because the passages are less than probably half an inch away from each other and it just makes its way in the cooling system as a result guys what will happen that air will be pumped in the cooling system it will create pressure in the hoses and as a result guys you will see bubbles in your radiator uh, overflow tank right here so this is guys what is happening here this is for a head gasket right here uh, well that's what we'll be doing on this car same symptoms like uh, like what we have there uh, on Chevy Cruze ours is good but hypothetical situation if you experience one we've had many cruises in the past with overheated engines especially the 1.4 uh, many of them had problems I don't know why maybe it was just bad luck or something but if you guys notice bubbles in your tank and you, you bled the cooling system the correct way most likely you, you have uh, you have bad head gasket i would recommend to replace uh, the cap if you have too much pressure in the system and see if that heals the problem and you don't see any bubbles so hopefully the video will be helpful guys thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel and see you guys next time